Hello, my name is Cove from ChatGPT, and this is a new tutorial from Open Source Photography. Today, we're talking about denoising in RAW therapy. There are many tutorials on this topic, but my approach might be a bit different from the usual method. The order in which I do things might also be different from what you're used to. In RAW therapy, I use the Favorites tab, where I've listed my most used modules in order. The first four are all about exposure and color. Exposure color management, film simulation, and shadows and highlights. After completing these steps, I move on to sharpening. The previous steps, especially sharpening, add noise on top of the existing noise. That's when I start denoising, trying to balance between reducing noise and keeping enough detail and sharpness. I believe this gives the best results. Now, here's the method. First, the settings I provide work well for Olympus Aura files and OM System Aura files. For files from other brands and camera types, you might need different settings, so feel free to experiment. In all the test photos here, I've already adjusted the exposure. Then I've set the sharpening to the same value for all photos using the unsharp mask with a radius of 1.5 and an amount of 350, with sharpen only edges checked. Next, activate the noise reduction module. I usually use lab for the color space, although RGB sometimes shows more details. For the mode, I choose conservative using aggressive only for extremely noisy pictures. Leave gamma at its default setting. For luminance and luminance control, use the slider. Set luminance to 50 and detail recovery to 100. Zoom into the image to 100% using the 1-1 button, and then zoom further to 200% with the plus button. Position the photo to get a good view of the noise and detail, and gently move the slider left up and down to find the optimal balance between noise reduction and detail retention. That's basically it for denoising. Repeat the same method for each new photo. Activate the noise reduction module, set the luminance value to 50, set the detail recovery value to 100, and gently move the slider left, up, and down looking for the optimal balance. In some cases, Adjusting the gamma slider can help make white pixels in a black area darker, and the impulse noise reduction option can also assist with this. Extra sharpening can be done by activating the edges module, but I only use it when necessary. Happy denoising! This was Cove from ChatGPT for open source photography.